beautiful lovelies it's Emmy welcome back today I'm going to be making a sweet summery treat that involves mustard yes mustard yellow French's mustard they came out with a recipe for mustard ice cream and I'm going to be making it apparently this is French's 115th year anniversary in for national mustard day they came out with a recipe for mustard ice cream also at a place called cool house you could also purchase a scoop of this ice cream but when i saw that they provided an actual recipe for their ice cream i knew i had to try it because mustard ice cream what would that taste like now if you missed my mayonnaise ice cream topped with ketchup you should definitely check out that video up above and down below because it contains yet another classic condiment i actually made that in one of those ice cream balls that you kind of throw around yeah those things actually work pretty well if you have one or if you find one at a thrift store and you've got some kiddos or not even have kiddos if you want to have something to do when you're sitting around the campfire why not make ice cream you just kick the ball around boom, you get ice cream today i'm not going to be using the kickball ice cream maker because this recipe is a recipe for no churn ice cream which has its appeal as well if you don't have an ice cream maker even if you purchased one at a thrift store you can make this granted you do need a piece of equipment you need a blender so i've already prepared the ice cream base and placed it in my freezer but let me walk you through the steps of how to arrive to this mustard ice cream so in your blender you're going to combine two cups of heavy cream then you put your lid on that and then on high power you're going to whiz this around for about 30 to 45 seconds so this happened very quickly and i knew because i could hear the sound of the blades still spinning yet nothing was mixing i've never made whipped cream in a blender before but it's totally possible and it's super fast so at this point once you've got your whipped cream you're going to add all your other ingredients one cup of sweetened condensed milk a quarter cup of whole milk a quarter cup of light corn syrup two tablespoons of sugar a quarter cup of your mustard one teaspoon of vanilla extract one teaspoon of yellow food coloring and this worked out to be about 50 drops and one drop of green food coloring then an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So then you're gonna whiz this around till everything's well combined while stopping periodically to scrape down the sides, kind of make sure that everything is well mixed. So yeah, that's basically it. You wanna make sure everything is well combined, no streaks of white. And then you're going to pour it into a freezer safe container and then use a piece of plastic wrap and push that on the surface of the ice cream and then place it in your freezer and let it set up for at least six hours. I've just let mine go for over 24 hours now. So that's it, no churn ice cream. You don't need an ice cream maker. You don't need to churn it, you just wait. So the recipe also included a salty sweet pretzel topping, which sounds really great, a classic pairing of mustard and pretzel, but I couldn't find dry malted milk powder, which you needed for the recipe, so I'm just gonna taste the ice cream. So let me go grab it out of the freezer. Whoa, like, take it easy. So here it is. Whoa, whoa. This is my favorite ice cream scooper. It's called a Zero 20. It's got a little brown bottom. They have different sizes, but this is the size that I have. And I found my original one at a thrift store, but it broke because I put it through the dishwasher on accident. And so my husband got me a new one. And I like this for a couple of reasons. It has a fluid inside it and it's made out of aluminum, so you can't put it in the dishwasher. And it conducts the heat from your hand through the handle puts it through this scooper part and scoops beautiful scoops of ice cream. I love it. The angle of it, the weight and the heft of it just works really nicely. I also have an ice cream disher that has one of those like kind of spring action. Let me show you. This, this is actually called a disher technically rather than an ice cream scoop. And this is an old vintage one as well. And I like this action, the spring-loaded action, but it doesn't scoop nearly as well as this. I also like the size of these scoops. They're nice and small, which is good for me. I don't like huge scoops of ice cream because then I eat that huge scoop of ice cream. 
And while I love ice cream, I don't want to eat that much ice cream. So I actually use this one more for when I'm baking cookies and muffins. It's a really great way to kind of portion out the doughs and batters. So that's why I have this one. For scooping ice cream, I really like this one. Let's do this, shall we? Ooh, look at that color. That is very much the French's yellow mustard color. Okay. Let's see if it still smells like mustard. Nope. When I was making the ice cream base, it had a very strong smell of mustard. I said, okay, this is mustard ice cream we're making here, isn't it? But now that it's frozen, I really don't smell it much at all. So let's go ahead and scoop this. See that? It's forming a beautiful ball of ice cream. Isn't that lovely? Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And then we just go, doink. Just take your ice cream scooper, and then you just drag it over the top of the ice cream, like that. And it very satisfyingly makes a ball of ice cream. Perfect. You don't have to go for like the big Mondo scoop. You just scrape it over the top, and then it just builds on the ball, kind of rolling it along, kind of like you would a snowman. And then you get those beautiful little marks with a good scoop of ice cream. Yes, that's it right there. Oh, I've done another weird mustard recipe. If you haven't seen my mustard cake recipe, I'll put the link down below to that one as well. I've made a ketchup cake as well. Yes, condiments can be very versatile. Okay, there's the ice cream. I'm gonna put this back in the freezer and take a quick picture of this. All right, lovelies, let's go ahead and taste our mustard ice cream, shall we? Now, as this is warming up, I definitely smell mustard. It's vinegary, and it smells like mustard. Yeah. Now, I don't dislike mustard, but it's not my kind of go-to condiment, although there are some things that I feel like it's just the perfect pairing, like hot pastrami, for example, hot pastrami, yellow mustard, best, best friends, and a little bit of mustard to make your deviled eggs taste like deviled eggs. Gotta have mustard. So there are certain things that I feel like it's a requirement, but in general, I don't need a lot of mustard. So I'm not sure how to feel about this, but let's give this a taste. Now the consistency looks pretty good. It's not too soft, it's not too hard. And uh, let's give this a go. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh, mm. Yeah. Wow, it definitely tastes like mustard. Mmm. 100%. 100% tastes like mustard ice cream. Yeah, not my favorite. <laughs> it tastes exactly as you would expect it. It tastes very, very clearly of yellow mustard. No Dijon in here, no spicy mustardy kick, we've got no wine in here, none of that, no coarse grainness. We have clearly yellow mustard that you put on your hot dogs, but this is sweet and it's dairied. They did a very good job in coming up with a recipe that I feel like is signature mustard ice cream. I feel like it's pretty well balanced. It's not vinegary, it just tastes like mustard. Mm. That's not true. Now that I've tasted another bite, you can definitely taste the vinegar in there. It's tangy, but it's very well balanced with the amount of sugar in there, the two teaspoons of sugar that we add in there, and the sugar, that, of course, that's in the condensed milk. It's very nicely balanced. It tastes like a sweet mustard that level of sweetness. But then we have this added layer of dairy. We've got two cups of cream in here and a little bit of milk. It is dairied and of course the condensed milk as well and very rich. But it's still all about the mustard here. This is not an ice cream. I feel like it's mustard first and then ice cream second. You've got that coolness of it. If you are a huge mustard head, you love mustard, mustard is your favorite condiment, then you need to try this because I feel like this is a very good recipe for mustard ice cream. I feel like it was very successful in its ability to 
capture mustard flavor in an ice cream form. It's just not for me. I don't care for this at all. And it leaves a mustardy flavor in your mouth. Like you've eaten too many of those Snyder honey mustard pretzel bites. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like that. And you're like, okay, I've eaten mustard flavor in there. I should probably go brush my teeth. Yeah, now I feel like I need to brush my teeth. So there you have it. <laughs> French's yellow mustard ice cream. Successful in attempt of what it's trying to do. Do I like the flavor? No, but you might. I made it and tried it so you didn't have to. If you are a mustard head and you love mustard, then go ahead and try this because I think you'll probably like it. Otherwise, go get yourself a scoop of vanilla and put some peanuts and chocolate syrup on it because that's what you're supposed to do. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share out this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye! <laughs>